Racing is almost back and we can't wait. Over the past year, we have been working incredibly hard on a very exciting project, which we've called Race Pass. It's a place on our app where you can watch the best bike racing in the world. We have always loved bike racing, but we haven't always been able to show it. For the first five years of GCN, we had to use still photos whenever we talked about a rider or a race because we couldn't afford to buy the footage. We did, however, provide an alternative commentary for the 2014 Tour of Qatar final stage, which you could listen to whilst you watched the race elsewhere. I wasn't expecting that, Tom. Where was Greipel? I don't know. We'd, we'd mentioned that DeMar probably wouldn't be up there due to his lack of team support. So it was a really interesting finish there, Dan. We, um, we didn't do that again. And it wasn't until June of 2017 that we had our first proper live racing broadcast with actual race footage and everything. The inaugural Hammer Series in Limburg. You know, we saw from his stats that he's been putting out max power of well over a thousand watts. Over 40 points now between Movistar and Team Sunwhips. It wasn't without its glitches, not much at GCN is, but it was fun, we enjoyed it, and more importantly, it seemed that you did too. Now, in the last couple of years, we have really stepped things up a notch or two. For example, we have had highlights of the Giro d'Italia, the Tour de France, Vuelta d'Espagne, España, Paris-Roubaix, and many more, all in multiple languages around the world. And it was the support of you, the g community, that allowed us to do that. We feel like you've all been with us on this long journey. And we were all incredibly proud that we could finally bring you coverage of the best bike races in the world for the very first time. Because we love bike racing and we've loved being able to share it with you. But we want to give you even more. And that is why we are launching Race Pass. Now, as many of you will know, we now have a GSYN app. It's a place for all things cycling where you can upload your own and interact with other people's inspirational photos or bikes or hacks and bodges. Take part in our polls, complete our quizzes and much, much more. The big news is the launch of Race Pass. So once the season resumes on August the 1st, you'll be able to watch live interactive racing plus full replays and highlights on our app. Needless to say, we are all incredibly excited about being able to do that, particularly since we've all been starved of racing that we love for so long. And you'll notice that we've been working on this closely with our mates at Eurosport, as both logos will appear in the corner of your screen. But this is about a lot more than just live racing coverage. We want to change the way that bike racing is covered, to have a different approach that enhances your enjoyment of the sport that we all love. So, we are going to have the best post-race analysis, long-form race previews, and a new weekly World of Cycling show dedicated to all things bike racing. All of that will be made and presented by cycling fans for you, cycling fans. And with all of it, we want your involvement as well. This is going to be all about delivering you, the fans, the best content possible. And so we'd love your input, your feedback, and most of all, your contributions. We share your passion for the sport and you will see that in the way that we cover it, which will be fun and hopefully entertaining as well. Now, along with everything else I've already talked about, we are also going to have a load of bonus content for you. You'll be able to watch long form video previews for the major races. You'll also be able to read in-depth daily race previews, which will look at the route, the profile, the climbs and the main protagonist, and basically everything else you could possibly wish to know about a race. There will also be a start list for every race with stats and information about every rider taking part, their height, weight, age, recent results, even what they had for breakfast. Well, it's not quite that much information, but you get the point. We will also provide you with stat updates during the race to keep you informed if, for whatever reason, you can't watch it live. And of course, after the race, we'll have the full results up on the app for you too. And don't worry, you are not confined to watching it all on a small mobile device. You can cast it up to your smart TV using either Chromecast or Apple AirPlay. We're also working on a whole host of other features, such as being able to opt into non-spoiler notifications so we can let you know if there's been an attack, a crash or any other incident, at which point you'll be able to go into the app, watch exactly what happened and then choose whether or not you want to continue watching or wait for the next incident. 
We'll let you know when a race is reaching its crucial points in case you don't have time to watch the whole race, but want to see the main action. Now, we are going to need your help with all of this. We're going to be asking you to pay to watch this new GCN content, which I know is an alien concept for those of you who've been part of the GCN community for a long time. But we really, really want to create the ultimate place for fans of bike racing to watch our incredible sport, and we're gonna need your support to do that. Live racing, as I mentioned earlier, costs an enormous amount of money to host. To then do it well and break the mold requires a huge investment up front, so building the app and developing the infrastructure needed, not just to show the races, but to tell the story around them. Plus, we have to pay a lot of money to show the races themselves. Ultimately, that money will go to the race organizers to allow them to put the races on in the first place, so it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just the way that the sport is set up. But your support will also enable us to invest more in continuing to make this coverage better all the time. Now, although we have obviously had racing on GCN and GCN racing in the past, we hope that what we've got in the pipeline is on another level. So as cyclists ourselves, we think we know what cyclists want from live coverage. I mean, people have talked for years and years about how the viewing experience of cycling has lagged behind that of other sports, but hopefully not for any longer. With the amount of racing we have and the quality of other content we're producing, we are going to be offering you great value for money. There are going to be no commercial breaks or adverts, just 100% live and interactive coverage of races with expert commentary. I have no doubt at all that we will make mistakes along the way, and there will be loads of things that we can improve upon, but it's your feedback that will enable us to make those very improvements. So, we are going to be launching Race Pass in North America, Europe, Japan, and Australia, and in six languages, English, French, Italian, Spanish, German, and Japanese. Now, the other big complication with race rights is that it's also extremely difficult to get them on a worldwide basis. And so the calendar of races that you'll be able to watch will vary based on where you are in the world. In order to see the calendar of races available where you are, you just need to head to the pass information page. Now, rest assured that we are working on getting more races and indeed the ability to broadcast our current races to more countries. So please be patient with us. We are doing our very best. Our first event then is on August the 1st, where we have both the men's and the women's Strada Bianche. After which, if the revised season goes ahead as planned, it'll be almost back-to-back -back racing for over three months. And even then, we're straight into cyclocross. Ahead of all of that though, we will have a full season preview coming to the channel very soon. It's gonna be packed, frantic, uh, and frankly, we can't wait for it all to start. Now, if you are keen to sign up, you'll find all the details of how to do that and the pricing in your country over on the app. You'll also be able to take advantage of a special early bird discounted price for the annual subscription, whilst the other option, if you want to have a bit more flexibility, is the monthly pass. So, what are you waiting for? Head to your app store, search for GCN, and click on download. Just before I go, if you've got any questions or comments, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section just below this video, and we'll do our very best to answer them. Bring on August, we'll be seeing you then.